So one of the biggest problems when you plug AI into your business and just running a business in general is knowing what you need to do and what you need to look at each and every day. Especially if like me, which you can see on the screen, I've got loads of AI agents running in the background. You're getting a lot of information that's being generated, but how do you know what to attack first and what has been generated while you've been sleeping or while you've been doing other business related tasks? In this video, I'll quickly show you how I've set up an AI agent to operate as a virtual assistant that will not only email me in the morning, but also create a to-do list inside Notion of what things I need to look at to review. First off, I use N8N. What I like about that is it's got the concept of automation workflows like make.com, but it's also now got these things, AI agents that can do a lot of crazy stuff and produce a lot of information for you while you sleep. So as you can see, what I have is a lot of blog post generators and I'm adding things in like blog post ideation, there'll be emails that'll be drafted, there'll be lead generation, there's all sorts of things that's gonna be on and added and implemented inside my business as I move forward over the next few months. But how do I know what's being created while I'm asleep, while I'm doing other things, while I'm on calls? How do I know what sort of things are coming up today? What does my calendar look like? What emails I've got in? Is there anything I need to address? So it's really difficult to sort of build up an idea of what you need to do from what's gone on overnight. So let's just give you an example of what I've been doing. So if you want, I can create a video on my blog post generator. If you comment with blog generator below, I will run through how I create this, but I've got sort of an AI agent team that will create blog posts, create a document and then update Notion that, that that's been done. So that's for my personal blog, but then also for other blog posts that I run. So another project, Bait Camp, which is a fishing app. I also have a very similar process where it's, it's building this team of agents to go and create blog posts for me, publish them as drafts on my WordPress site, but then also what it does, it does things like the technical SEO, content enhancement, quality assurance, puts all that information into a document. So I've got something to look at to review when I'm publishing the blog post. So all the thinking's done for me, it's just a case of, right, I need to go and review this, get it published and then move on from there. So we're getting a lot of information that's gonna be processed. How am I dealing with that? So what the output looks like is when a document has been created that relates back to a blog post that's in, in draft, we have this sort of document now that's gonna be sort of created with, like I said, the technical SEO requirements, content enhancements, the quality assurance recommendations in there. So I can look at that or I can forward it on to, to whatever process needs to happen next. So that's gonna have a number of documents in there. Then also I've got this one where every week I'm going to be using AI agents to do research and come up with new blog post topics for future gener future blog posts. So I don't even need to do that thing and I'm getting AI to do the sort of research and, and the creative side from that. So I'm going to need how to process the ideas to review them, make sure they're valid and then get them created, which will go into the review folder. So I wanted to start getting an email at 6 a.m. So between midnight and 6 a.m. a lot of these agents run. So by the time 6, 6.30 comes around, I'm at my computer, I've got a coffee, and I wanna now start looking at things that I can need to attack. So I've created this VA daily tasks. And it's gonna be a simple workflow at the moment, which has got a tools agent that is connected to my Notion to-do list that I have that basically I've run my life out of, and then it'll just send an email to my personal account to process that. Collect tasks at 6 a.m. So we've got a trigger that starts basically five, five to six most days to see what's going on. And as you can see now, we are just looking at what's been drafted. So this blog's drafted, we'll look into the review folder. So everything, all the other processes will put blogs into this folder and then it'll look at the ideas folder and all the idea generations the agents will do the same for that i do a little bit of parsing to get the raw json out from the 
querying of the folder to see what files have been generated. I use OneDrive for a lot of my stuff. A lot of people use Google Drive and Gmail, but I like showing you other examples that people might be working for other businesses. So I've got a friend who runs an electrical business. He uses SharePoint for all of his business. So sometimes in the real world, people might not use Google Workspace, Google Drive. So it's just a case of showing you what, what's possible with all these agents beyond sort of the, the stack that other, other sort of AI um, channels may show you. We merge all the data into one. So we're getting a list of all this information. And what I tend to do is I just basically give me the the name of the file and then what type it is. So I'll do that blog post and this should be blog ideas. Merge that all in and then I'll just aggregate the data into a single list when all this has been done. Then inside the agent, I've just got a quick sort of prompt that, that you are a virtual executive assistant and your job is to collect a list of tasks and reports from it at the end of the day. You need to make sure the Notion database is created as well as sending me an email. Task, you'll receive a list of files that are inside different folders. Each list relates to different tasks and outputs have been performed by different AI agents. You need to collect each list of files into either consumable list to create a Notion document page with the output and send me the same list by your email. Here are the steps I want you to follow. See if any blog posts have been drafted and compile a list of them. See if any blog post ideas have been created and compile a list of them as well. So it's just a case of telling it the, the steps that you want to be going through as if they were a virtual assistant. This will probably get expanded and tweaked. Like say, I'm toying with sort of getting this now to look at the calendar I've got. Maybe do a little bit of research as well and say, right, you've got these meetings coming up. We have got their email address. We've gone in looked at your emails, found the the chain that you've got with this person. Here's a summary of what you've been talking about. And then I've got all these documents prepped for the day that I know when this meeting is gone, I can go into that document and, and, and sort of updating this, this prompt to include all these sorts of processes. At the minute, I'm just trying to focus on blog posts because that's what a lot of my agents are doing at the minute. One thing I do need to mention is give it an input. So tell you what you're they're, it's expecting so it doesn't get confused and i think as well i've done this you need to um i've put into it as well expected output you'll compile a list in the following output list of you item here's an example blog post drafted if the no task of found don't send the email no task found don't create the notion document output is to be in html format and then we've just got here's the json so it's just a case of the aggregation that gets passed in I'm just going to try and find, where did I? Yes, yeah, so the output needs to be grouped by type. So then that, that gives the sort of information that we need. Okay, so that's running now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to test this workflow and I should get a Notion document database page with these details in with, with today's date. So I'm recording this. At the 23rd of January, 2025. So I test the workflow. It's going in the blog draft. It's got the blog ideas. It's merged them. It's now aggregated the data into one master list. It's sent the email. It's added the database page. And it's actually ran the full process. So cool. So now if I go into Notion, yeah, you saw that come up. So I'll just go back into that to show you what I actually do with Notion. So in my personal, I have a database page. It's, there you go, it showed me in the output what it did. It's created a database page in the to-do actions, to-do, the date format, status, to-do, priority, it's the top priority, how I'm going to do it, because I have, do I want to all source it, do I want to automate it? My current iteration, so I go off like the sprint, so you've got like current iteration of backlog, and then I basically tell it to create a paragraph from the AI with a to-do list, and it's giving me sort of the the markdown format that I've asked in the prompt to, to give me that back. So that's what we kind of do. I'm not going to tell you, show the email one. It's very straightforward, very simple, but I don't want to show me emails. Uh, so to do, so we've got the to do 23rd of January. If I open that now, we've got the, I need to work out how to just get that to run through into proper markdown with Notion, but we've got P1, which I'd said, so it's the top priority. It's zero, current iteration to do 
and then I can just go and review them now. So I know, right, okay, I need to, I've got these two documents. What do I need to do with them now? So as I've said, the next steps for me are probably going to be plugging in my calendar to prep for meetings. I'm also start looking at if I'm doing sort of lead gen outreach, relationship building, I'm thinking of a process where I can create a spreadsheet and these are the people I want to start building a relationship with, get some th agent to create a report on that person, give me a suggested email, draft that email up maybe, and then I've just got a report of, right, here's all the people, all the leads that we've looked at, here's all their output, do you want to start contacting these today? If so, here's the document. So it's also a case of like just your imagination of how far you can go with this. If you want help setting up these sorts of agents inside your business, as to act as a virtual assistant or to do more of the processes. I'll put a link in the description so you can reach out to me and we can start looking at automating parts of your business.